the thing I would do differently is that I would probably have done the training five, six months earlier than the multiplier events in the end. Uh, because it's very difficult for young entrepreneurs, ambassadors, to actually leave their businesses for so many days in such a little time. So, uh, to anyone that's thinking of actually replicating the Yeti model, uh, I think it's very important to actually select entrepreneurs that are passionate about what they do, that seem like true success stories, and the success story isn't only if the business is going well. It may be someone that actually stopped working for the business because he or she realized that it wasn't sustainable or it didn't achieve its goal. So the tip I would give to someone that's about to replicate our Yeti model is to find entrepreneurs that are passionate about self-employment. Also, another thing, if someone is thinking of replicating the, this project, it's important to organize the trainings so that one day you can do some cultural stuff because that's actually the point of having mobility in the project that people that travel get to see the town and not only just be in a meeting room and work on the project. They have to get to know other businesses, get outside the office and see what entrepreneurs there are actually doing in their everyday life. So the thing we found out from our research that we've been doing for the Yeti project the past three years is that in Greece it's pretty easy to start a business. It's not easy to get somewhere with your business because there aren't enough mentors for everyone actually. It's easy to get the first funding, but what happens after that? How are you going to be sustainable? So with this project we try to train young ambassadors, entrepreneurs from Greece, so they can actually become men mentors and leaders so that other people can start a business and actually get some help on everyday life.